Hi there, good afternoon and welcome to today's Kingsland Library Teeny Book Review. I'm Fran and today I'm going to be reviewing the Princess Diaries series by Meg Cabot. Um, the entire series is available on Libby or Overdrive as um, I think audiobooks but there might be some ebooks as well. Um, it's a series I really really enjoyed when I was a teenager. I read it so many times over and over again and um, I really recommend it for anyone who just wants a really light and funny warm-hearted series. It's really uh, good fun. Um, most people probably know it from the film that was made of it, the couple of films uh, that Disney made. Um, however the books are very very different. I think both the film and the book series have their merits um, but I think if you really want to read a really um, a great series that really gets into the mind of a teenage girl then the princess diaries is the great one for you um it follows um a few of the categories of the teen reading challenge so there's number two which is uh, a book set on an island as the book is mainly set in manhattan um number six which is a book that's been made into a film or tv series uh, as i said there have been two films um made with the character however as I said before they don't really follow the books a huge amount the books are quite different uh, number seven which is a se uh, first book in a series number nine which is a book set in another country number 14 uh, which is a book set in a school so it's largely set in um, in the school um, and if you don't really know the plot of uh, Princess Diaries the general plot is uh, as a 15 year old girl named Mia who um, is just a regular teenager living in New York with her mother. Um, she's very nerdy, very quiet and shy and very awkward. And um, she doesn't really have contact with her father. And she learns through her paternal grandmother that she is actually a princess to the throne of a country in Europe called Genovia. Um, obviously, Genovia is a fictional country. Um, and that her father is currently prince, but uh, due to some ill health, he won't be able to father any more children, which makes Mia the next heir to the throne. Um, this, of course, makes Mia's life utter chaos as she tries to keep it from the press and from everyone else at her school. And she just wants desperately to still be a normal person. However, then she then has to start taking princess lessons with her grandmother. Um, to prepare herself for her role as princess. Um, unlike the film, Genovia is a principality, kind of like Monaco, so it's princess and princesses, not kings and queens, so she is the princess um, and her father is still the prince. Um, there are notable differences to the film. I think as most people probably know the film, I will just quickly run through them. So the grandmother in the books is actually an awful tyrant. She's a terrible person <laughs> and she usually is the person that causes the most problems in Mia's life. Whereas in the film she's, um, you know, lovely and very grandmotherly and cuddly and kind. Um, and another notable difference is in the book series Mia's father is alive whereas uh, the catalyst for Mia finding out about her parentage in the film was that her father died. But no, in this um, book series he is still alive but it's just due to ill health um you know he had planned to have more children that could carry on the royal uh, line um but because he can't it means that Mia who is an illegitimate child has to become the next princess um it's just a really funny warm series as I said before um there are I think 12 books in the series they travel through Mia's probably entire um teenage years I think and end when she's 18, I believe. And Meg Cabot has actually started writing a sequel series uh, for children um, uh, called uh, The Notebooks of a Middle School Princess, a sort of about, um, it doesn't really spoil anything, but about Mia's half-sister. As Mia learns later, she has a half-sister who's much younger than her, um, which doesn't really affect the plot very much. Um, so yes that is the review for today the princess diary series by meg cabot um i i really really enjoyed it it's just so easy to read you can just slip through them really easily um i would definitely recommend them and i hope that anyone who decides to read them enjoys them thank you bye